Hi there, it's Gil from Results Fitness, Fitness and today I want to talk to you about six common things that stop us from getting the kind of results that we really want. Number one, weighing scales, okay, is your life dictated by the number on the scales, okay? If it is, okay, then it's controlling you and your emotional state is going to be dictated by whether that number goes up or down, okay? You're not in control, the scales are in control. Ditch the scales. Number two, Avoiding carbs. If you're avoiding carbs 100% of the time, you're never ever going to maintain it. Yes, you're going to lose some weight, but at some point you're going to go back to eating carbs. Okay? And carbs are good. Carbs give you energy. Carbs taste good too. Okay? I'm not talking about piling loads of them into your system. There's nothing wrong with eating some carbs. Try and focus on the 80 20 approach. Okay? Be good to yourself 80% of the time. Don't worry about the other 20. Number three. Abstinence follows on lastly from number two. If you're cutting out anything that you enjoy, okay, whether that's chocolate, whether that's wine, whether that's coffee, tea, pizza, you can do it for a short period of time and you can get a great result. But how does it make you feel? Okay, it's much better again to think about 80-20. Okay, focus on being good to yourself and eating healthy 80% of the time, and don't worry about the other 20. Okay, if you want to get really good results, change that to be good to yourself 90% of the time, and then don't worry about the other 10%. Give it a go. Okay, number four, leading nicely on again from number three. We talked about cutting all the things you like out. If you're only eating things that are very healthy, super healthy, and you don't like them, is that really going to give you the kind of results that you want in the long term? Are you going to be able to maintain eating stuff you don't like? Might be, because you have to eat loads of things that you don't like, loads of boring kind of meat without resources, you've got loads of shapes and you've cut out all the like, things that you do like. So think about your 80-20 again. 80-20. Be good yourself 80% of the time, don't worry about the other 20. Okay, number five, don't beat yourself up. Okay, don't beat yourself up about what you see as the failings in one to four. Okay, so you weigh yourself and you weigh more than you did say half an hour ago or yesterday or this morning. Okay, so you beat yourself up, punish yourself. Okay? not eating, eating any carbs and then suddenly you eat some carbs, you eat some cake, okay? or you're just getting grouchy because you haven't got any energy because you're not eating carbs. Okay? You beat yourself up because you're abstaining. Okay? Your emotional state is not good and balanced. Okay? You're also eating things that you don't like. It makes you unhappy. Okay? Yes, you're maybe losing weight, but do you feel great in yourself? Okay? When you again get back to this number, when that number goes up and you beat yourself up, is it really worth it? Okay? I want you to focus on not beating yourself up, focus again, I'll say it again and again, you want to be good to yourself 80% of the time, don't worry about the other 20. And the last one, number six, don't compare yourself to others, okay? Everybody's on their own journey, okay? Just because so-and-so down the road, okay, trains six times a week and eats broccoli and chicken every day, and it's in brilliant shape, and enjoys eating broccoli and chicken, Joys abstaining doesn't mean that you need to. Okay, find what works for you. Find what works for you long term. Find what works that makes you happy, content, and fulfilled. Okay, focus on 80-20. Get yourself 80% of the time, and don't worry about the other 20. Right?